Hello Cairns people, time to have a look at predicting some future values using equations, usually a linear equ equation. So we've got our formula 15,000 plus 560x, that means 560x times the value for x, not 15,560 times x. Bid mass, bod mass, as it was when I was at school. So that normally causes too much of a problem. It comes up in budgeting and it also comes up in MDCL and the synoptic as well. So as long as you take it slowly and break it down to its component parts, then not normally too much of a problem. So we've actually got to work out the current value first. Uh, well, the current value, the constant, 15,000x was 11 so we're talking about quarters here could be years doesn't make a difference same time period 560 x just multiply it up and then we just go add the two together all the two main values the constant and the variable And it's as simple as that. Um, so even in the next time period, I suppose, as it's a constant with inflation, it could eventually go up. This is a bit that will change. We're going to assume that the next time period, after time period 11, is 12. And we're making a further assumption that the time period after 12 is 13. So what we've got to do is 560 times those numbers. Well, fairly straightforward. It's just going up by 560. And then the formula here is the same, no variation needed. And that's our first little linear equation. So we can put an extra step into it, this one. It's just changed. Now again, watch bid mass, 15,000 plus 560x minus x. So there's no bracket, there's no indices. In fact, there's no division. Uh, multiplication, that's OK, because it does the 560x. Addition adds it to the 15,000, then takes off the x value, which is the value here. Those are all. And we're still dealing with 11, 12, and 13. Uh, actually, these bits are the same. So they haven't changed. It's just the end formula, we're just taking off x at the end. So it's literally. The constant plus the variable and take off the other variable. And of course, Excel is programmed to follow the rules of bid mass. So effectively, all we've done is taken 11 off and the 12 off and 13 off the values we got earlier. So that's fairly straightforward. Just break them into little bits. Don't hurry. Follow the rules of pod mass, bid mass. So now we've got a formula and we're going to do some seasonal adjusted um, and a bit of indexes in. It might look complicated, but it isn't actually. If you take it step by step. So this bit, um, Q, it's the constant is 100. I've left that in. X, Current time period is 22. We're looking at future quarters, so it's going to be 23, 24, 25, and 26. Uh, 20 times x. So 20 times 23, 20 times 24. And then we've got our total. The variable and the constant. All it's going to do is go up by 20 every time. 20x. Extra 20. So now we've got a seasonal adjustment. We've got to be given these, um, but that was what our total was. This is a linear equation, so it wouldn't be seasonally adjusted. You'd have to do the seasonal adjustment afterwards. But actually, if we just take these two, it 
it's a minus figure that means the seasonal adjustment is below the trend therefore it's 510 580 plus 60 600 plus 70 620 minus 80 gives us those values and now we need a predicted price so current in current so in quarter 22 index 120 current price 45 so the first thing you're going to do is take the 45 we've got it there because just put in 45 divide it by its own index division multiplication that's okay times it by the index of the quarter we go into 121 so we've got 45 pound 38 displayed to two decimal places not rounded up I suppose it should really have rounded and that's our predicted price but these are predictions so a little bit of mass errors is, is fine and then the revenue will be simply the number sold which of course is the adjusted there's a number that we're actually expecting to sell not the original times the price and do we need to be so accurate as to pence no but it's still there in accounting format so we've got our revenue which is just the predicted price times the adjusted units so there's not much variations on that i can't so much more into it uh, we can obviously now predict this we've got some revenue for sales uh, but receipts and money coming in of course can be lagged and it doesn't always come in it isn't all cash sales so we, we can do that that's a big part of the exam and then variations the main thing is where they give you a whole year's sales figures whether it's from an index number um, and then divide by four to get the quarters and then seasonally adjust it uh, as we've done each quarter here so you'd have had to have a total figure divide by four before the seasonal adjustment